Hi everyone, this is UI once again. Thanks for joining me today. Um, in my previous video, I have uh, unboxed and show you guys the, um, the functions uh, of the uh, Park Press from China. Right, this is the uh, uh, Park Press uh, model CPP145 from the company called Perfex. And uh, this is uh, my first time using it yesterday. And yesterday, I pulled a shot with the uh, the park press, um, the auto temper, and uh, I find that it really improved my workflow. And today, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is actually again uh, try to play with the temping pressure, and see how that actually affects the uh, the extraction. And to be fair, uh, yesterday I only only did one shot comparison between the uh, one done by the park press, uh, the auto temper. And then the other one uh, done by my manual and my usual way of prepar uh, preparing the puck. So today I'm going to do a little bit more. So first one, I'm, I'm still going to run two short quickly. On uh, First, maybe I'll do my usual preparation. right? Uh, then the second shot, I'll start to vary the pressure on this puck press, uh, this auto temper. And uh, yesterday I, I, I tried to use, uh, describe to you guys the button and the functions on the on the auto temper, right? Uh, so I'm just I'm just gonna run you through again because um, I forgot to mention that there's this button. Um, it's quite obvious actually, but I didn't really um, try to play around with the uh, the buttons yesterday. So let me show you again. All right? Uh, what what are all the functions for? Right? Right. So now you have a closer look at the uh, auto temper, right? So this one, this button here, state of pressure. Right, this is actually to re uh, increase. Right, you can see there's a plus sign there, which actually increases the the weight that you are tamping, um, the strength that you are tamping against your coffee puck. Right, of course the maximum is thirty kg. Right, and this is obviously the minus button. I, I don't know why I never thought of that yesterday. Right, of course you can reduce um, the tamping strength. Right, so maybe um, because I'm gonna pull about four shots. So I will probably try starting with a temping strength of 15, right? Then I will be upping the te uh, temping pressure from 15 to 20, 25, then 30. And I'm going to do a comparison between the shots, the extraction of the shots, and also um, um, compare with uh, my normal way of prepar preparing the puck, which is by normal uh, WDT, and then... Um, um, distribute and then tap right using the uh, self labeling temper which is the calibrated one and of course today I'm going to use my um, uh, DF64 which fitted with the SSB cast burr right which is the CV burr and uh, so far I've been liking this burr a lot and um, so let's get started on the first pool right so the, I'm going to dose 18 grams of coffee right and now I have already pre dosed the coffee in this uh, this uh, test tube kind of a container Right, so each one can take up to 15 grams and I'm just going to dose, grind and then I'm just going to pull shots uh, immediately from there. And then I'm going to use my uh, bottomless bottle filter to see the extraction close up. I think this angle will be perfect for you to see all the shots, which are all the preparation I'm going to do on this. And of course, I'm going to pull a shot at the back of the machine and the machine we are using is still the uh, VBM Domo Bar Super, right, which is the pressure profiling machine because it, it is able to give me consistent pressure whichever pressure I set and the current grind setting on the SSP Casper is at 10.5 closer to the 11 range so let's uh, pull the first shot make grind the first shot and then we see how it goes and by the way my um, DF64 has been fitted with the the clumper, uh, my my shoot is still the same shoot. I didn't modify the shoot because I don't think there's a need to. As long as I modify the decumper, the decumper of course is using the PD flap, uh, and uh, 3D printed uh, space at the back. So I'm going to show a close-up and I'm going to bellow one, two, three, and that's all I need to do. 
So I'm just going to battle three times, and then it's done. Right, so the first shot is ready, and the first shot I'm going to use the uh, normal part preparation, and of course I'm still going to use the part screen uh, on every single shot. Right, so this is the normal part preparation. Uh, standard, I'll be doing a spinning WDT. And knock it down. Distribute. So the only, only variation I have is I'm still going to do all these processes. The only variation is this is the tamping I'm going to use on the self-calibrated temper and the rest of the tamping I'll be using the puck press and the preparation will still be the same except switching this to the auto temper All right, so I will show you the quality of the manual work which is, which is still pretty um, consistent I would say All right it's pretty nice All right and uh, puck press and then let's move over to our espresso machine and then we pull the first shot. So the machine has been warmed up properly and uh, is ready. Remember the this uh, glass I'm using now uh, is actually for the first shot of a manual preparation, manual tamping. The shot looks amazing, no channeling or whatsoever. Extraction looks good. We are now hitting about 36 gram in about 30 seconds. So we are achieving about 43 grams in about 30 seconds of uh, extraction time. And the shot quality looks uh, pretty good. And uh, this is the first shot, which is by manual tamping. All right, so the second shot. I'll be using uh, the glass from Kruf. Uh, you can see um, I'm not too sure the problem with the Kruf. I think the, you know, this is a manual. Uh, they actually blow the glass and then uh, they actually seal the glass with a bottom here. And apparently, there's, um, I think this is not done very well and there's a hole. So, whenever I wash this Kruf glass, the uh, the water will get in and then you, you can see leave behind a stain which is really ugly. I'll probably be disposing this very soon. But uh, let's just use it uh, as I can. While I can then um, very soon when the bottom gets really dirty, I just have to dispose this. Alright, so same grind size. I'm not going to change the grind size. And before we put the second shot, let me pull out the um, let me show you the puck. Right, so this is from the first shot. This is the a very fast way of removing your puck on uh, the puck screen. Drop out. The puck looks dry. Okay, let me knock it out. Right, you can see my. Uh, so the basket is entirely clean, there's no need to clean whatsoever, there's no need to um, brush, uh, there's no trace of coffee, there's space behind. So this is the advantage of using a puck screen. Alright, so let's continue to pull the second shot. One, two, three, and that's all, right? Right at the moment, the uh, auto temper is set to fifteen kg of uh, um, tamping pressure. So same thing. I'm just gonna dose over. All 
right same thing I'm just going to WDT lock it down distribute right and I'm going to tamp so this is tamping at a, a tamping pressure of 15 kg so you can see that it is still very consistent right let's put on the puck screen right remember this crew glass is actually the second shot uh, now this is at the tamping pressure of 15 kg okay let's pull a second shot Extraction looks really beautiful. Uh, there's really no channeling at all, no squirting. Oh, there's a little bit of squirting. Thirty second. I'm achieving about forty point seven grams of a uh, uh, coffee. So this is from the tamping strength of fifteen. So let me bring you to see the first two shots we have made. Can see the first shot the color is a little bit darker i'm not too sure whether it's because of the reflective um, of the glass right uh, on the surface it looks like the first actually is richer in color the second shot is uh, slightly less uh, intense in color uh, in terms of the uh, crema that we are achieving so right now let's continue with the third shot Okay, let's increase the tamping pressure to 20. Dose. Grind. So let's uh, let's hear the as long as there's no more bean grinding, I'll just uh, bellow one, two, three, right? So three times is more than enough. Switch off. Right, let me show you the uh, puck from the previous shot. Let's remove the puck screen. Again, it is very dry. So knock out. One, two, right, that's how clean the uh, fuel basket is, right, it's really, really consistently clean. So let's uh, go on to prepare the third one. So the third glass, I'm going to use the glass from Tree Bomber, right, it's a really beautiful glass. Um, I think the hole at the bottom is properly sealed up and uh, they have a sort of a bomber logo there right um, pretty nice glass so same thing I'm just going to WDT right distribute and uh, currently we are dosing all coffee to uh, 18 grams and then we're going to temp again really consistent to on the park screen and then let's pull the third shot okay let's get the glass over zero let's extract Extraction still looks pretty good. 
I will I'm not seeing any squirting. And this is uh 30 grand, uh, 30 seconds. We are extracting slightly more as contact on compared to just now. Just now we get extract about 40 uh, point something gram. Now we are extracting about 42.6 grams of coffee. Right, so we are extracting slightly more. So right now you can see the color of the shot. Ah, I think as the temperature cools down, right, the color start to change a little bit from the lighter color. You know, it start to change to a slightly darker color, right? I'm sure this is going to change the color too. So let's pull another shot and let's wait and see uh, uh, in a while whether this will change to a slightly darker color. Ah, this is interesting. Okay, let me adjust the camera. Right, okay, so let's continue to pull the four shots. And we're going to increase the pressure to 25. Dose. Okay, no more sound. One, two, and three. Right, let's switch off the grinder and then let's prepare the puck. Right, and again, let's remove the, uh, the puck screen. Right, it is still very beautiful. Knockout. Right, you can see the pewter basket is as clean as ever. Okay, there's a little bit of stain here. Right. Alright, so let's continue to prepare the four shots. WDT. Distribute and then we tamp. Oh, sorry, not using this. I almost forget. We're going to tamp with the auto tamper. This is with uh, 25 grams of uh, 20, 20, 25 kilograms of pressure. Back screen. Okay, and then let's pull the four shots. And for the four shots, I'm going to use uh, my shot glass. So let's lock up the pole filter. Right, and now remember we are actually tamping at uh, 25 kilogram of uh, pressure. Right, make sure, make sure the glass is directly below. Okay, let's pull the shot and see. Extraction looks really good, really consistent. This is when you hit 9 bar of pressure. Ah, there's a little bit of channeling there, right? Squirting. Okay, 30 seconds. I'm getting about 41 grams of uh, liquid. So let's bring the shot back. So now you can see. First, second, third, fourth. You can see the color change. The colors start to get become darker. So um, I think yesterday the statement I made about the color which is richer on the first shot that I pull, this is actually not the right way because I believe the color eventually will change to be darker. You can see this color has been changed to darker already on the third shot, while the most recent shot, the fourth one, is still pretty light in color in terms of the crema. Right, so let's do the last one, which is uh, 30 kilogram of pressure. And then let's do a taste test and see 
whether uh, there's actually significant taste difference between all the four shots. Same, I'm uh, dosing 18 grams of coffee. I have not changed any of the grind setting. The grind setting is always the same. Okay, let's pull out the uh, polar filter. Same thing. One, two, three. Parks screen drop out. Parks looks uh, dry. One. Right. As clean as ever. Right, so this is the beauty about using a park screen. Right, let's do WDT. Distribute. Then we tap. You can see how convenient this is. Right, temp and tuck screen. Right, the last shot I'm still gonna use my shot glass. So let's Put the shot over on my espresso machine. All right, so this is the fish shot we are pulling. Okay, let's lock up the polar filter. The shot still looks really good. At low pressure of 6 bar, there's no visible channeling. Right now it's at 9 bar, you can hear the uh, gear pump humming at a higher pitch. Oh, this is interesting. At higher pressure, at, I'm actually getting more liquid out. Right, so I suspect that the higher pressure actually creates uh, uh, I, I, I can't really see the channeling when I'm doing I'm doing the extraction, but apparently I'm actually getting more liquid out. So it it in terms of um in terms of physics, by right if I have been packing this with more strength, it I should have extracted less coffee because water should have a, a harder way of finding it out from the coffee puck. But then uh in in the opposite I'm actually getting more liquid out. I'm actually getting 45.5 grams of espresso liquid out from um, the shot. Right, so now these are the five shots and I'm going to taste all these five shots one by one. And uh, this is the latest one. So you can see the color change from a darker. It, it gradually changed to lighter. When the shot is hot, it is slightly lighter in color. Right, so you can see the color tone there. Right, so let's waste no time and let's let's try the shot and see how it goes. Right, let's taste the first one. And this is the first shot pulled with a manual uh, tamping. Smells good. Sweet. Good body. Um, I like the CV burr because of the, the really complexity in the body. Wow, this is a really good shot. Yeah, it's really good, right? So let me drink the second one. Let me get a glass and uh, rinse my palate. Right, let's taste the second one. This is at the tamping strength of uh, 15 kg. Still smells amazing.
Hmm. This tastes less harsh. Yeah, this this uh, the first shot has a little bit of uh, aftertaste that it, it shows a slight harshness. Let me try the second shot again. Yeah, the second shot felt smoother, right? Still very sweet, um, very low acidity, and then um, good body and texture, right? So this is from the second shot. So let's try the third shot. Color has become uh, a lot darker when it's uh, first extracted. Wow. Totally no, um, it, is, it is very smooth, the shot is very smooth. I believe this is at 20 kg of temping pressure. Let me compare with the second shot. Yep, I think the third shot is even better than the second shot. Yep. Good body, good, good sweetness, less, very little acidity. Um, and uh, it is a lot smoother when it's tamping at 20 kg. So now let's move on to the 25 kg shot. Cheers. Ah, okay. I think the, uh, the aftertaste become back to like the first shot that I've extracted. It is not as good as the third shot, the third shot is tamping at 20 kg, and this is tamping at 25. The sweetness is still there, um, the complexity is still there, the low acidity is still there, just that the first shot tastes exactly the same as the fourth shot. Um, the aftertaste is not as good, um, it feels a little bit, uh, um, definitely more harsh than the third cup you have extracted. So it doesn't mean that you time at high pressure, you will get a good shot, right? So let's go for the last one. Of course, this is uh, the latest one we have which I pull. So the temperature of this shot is, uh, is higher as compared to the rest, right? Cheers. Oh, yeah, this is definitely even harsher, right? When I say harsh, that doesn't mean that the shot doesn't taste good. I'm just comparing the five shot and let you know uh, the vari variation between the temping strength and which one actually is the best for this coffee, right? So at the moment, um, I think 20 kg of temping pressure is actually the best among all the shots here. Uh, all the shots here has very good uh, sweetness, has very good body, has very good complexity, texture is all there. Um, just that the harshness level goes from high to low, then peak to high again. So at the temping strength of 20 kg, it is the best for this coffee at the moment, right? So this is really interesting by varying the temping strength and using different uh, temping tool, right? Because I, I do not know how much force I'm actually, actually exerting on the normal, you know, even this is a self-level calibrated temper. I'm not sure what kind of force am I uh, pressing. Um, I believe the pressure I'm exerting here could be similar to the fourth shots, right? Or even the fifth shot, right? But so far, I like the uh, third shot the best, which is this one. Yeah, it's the most balanced, the sweetest. There's really oh, totally no um, harshness at all, right? So, this is the perfect shot for me, right? So, this is UI once again. Thank you for joining me. I hope you find this uh, discovery and uh, investigation interesting. I'll be doing more about this. Maybe, perhaps, next time I can uh, compare more shots with different temping strength and without doing uh, maybe if I don't do uh, WTT, uh, if I don't do leveling, will that affect actually affect the taste, right? So that will be uh, something that we can, I can actually um, uh, find out right in the next ex next episode, right? So thank you for joining me today. And uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, remember to hit the subscribe button, like my videos, and then uh, remember to ring the bell, right? So that you will not miss any of our video release. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. And I'll see you in the next one and stay safe. And by the way, look at all the beautiful park. So this is the number five.
right all the park here it's really um really beautiful